Good day, beautiful people. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those that have subscribed, I just want to say thank you. And if you are yet to subscribe, then please do well by subscribing. And also, don't forget to hit the like button. Today's tutorial is about how to make um, those ruffles on the shoulder parts. If this is what you like to learn, please stay tuned and watch the end. to this channel please do by subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button if you find this helpful today's tutorial is about how to make the ruffle design which was displayed on the screen the ruffle design which was displayed on the screen the fabric we'll use for this design is um organdi this is the fabric we're using for that design this is organdi um, fabric not the normal organza this is more quality it has more quality than organza it's more thicker and quite expensive than organza so i have three yards of this with me so the first thing i will do is to measure where i want to put my um ruffles i have this dress made already these two dress i have it already so and the part, this is the part I want to put my ruffle, which is the upper part. I have to measure from this, the first zipper part to the other zipper part. Measure from this point round to meet this other part. So this is what I'll do. Measure round. So I have 39 with me here. I have 39. So I all should have round two dress. Round is 39. It's actually a two dress. Two, two dress. So we have 39. Next is for me to cut the base which I will attach the ruffles to. So I have this here. I have um is um seven inches wide and the length i'll make the length 40 and half remember our, our off shoulder part is 39 yeah 39 so i'll make it 40 not 40 and a half 39 plus allowance half half, half inch allowance that's on 40 half inch on both sides so i have seven here then i'll measure 40 down So the next thing is for me to join these parts together. I'll sew this part straight down. Then I will have three inches on fold. You get. I'm sewing this part. I'll have three inches on fold. So it is on this part, on this base, we will sew our ruffles. So I'm going to turn it, bring it out. I'll fold this into two. This is in two, two. And also go this way, making four. Making four is one, two, three, four. Making four. 
Then I'll take this end to meet the other end. So automatically we are folded into it. So having this, the next thing for us to get the midpoint of this folded fabric. Of this folded fabric so measure from this point what we have from this point to this point we have 30 so the midpoint the half of 30 should be 15 which is 15 this way and also get the midpoint this way this is 26 so it should be 13 so you draw a cross this way this side so from this point, you measure how wide you want to, how wide you want your ruffle to be, or your flounce, yes, your flounce to be, how wide you want it. So I want mine at least four inches, so I'll be doing four inches round. So from this point, just start from any point, you can decide to start from here, 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 any angle. Any pin. Trying to use my pin to secure it I don't want it moving around so from this point measure four inches Three. From here, I connect like this. my four inches round you can decide to do any length you want it all depend on the design you're working with don't forget we have our fabric folded into it now making it of three yards of fabric the fabric is by 60 yes by 60. We'll keep moving. Keep moving. Yes, this will be the end part. Go ahead and join all my mark parts together. Please ignore every 
background noise. No, I need background noise. And I'll start my cutting from this point. Cut round. I hope you understand this method. Cut round. And I'll start my cutting from this point. Just go straight this way and stop here. You're not causing through, just stop here. So here we have it. We have our design ready. I have this in eight places one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next thing is for me to stitch it on my on this band here. I'll go ahead and iron this first before stitching. So I've taken one of the flounds. Just that so you just watch closely. So I'll go ahead and sew very close to the tip. So you sew closely to the tip of the band or the base and i went ahead to pleat the raw folds gently before sewing you can decide to gather the raw fold to the size of the band just do a little bit gathering to the size of the base you have but in this video i just um pleat while sewing so this is what i will do to all the cut out raw folds i will sew them and pleat them on the base so you watch till the end So I guess this is the first layer or so. I sew them close to each other. So I'll go off the camera to complete the stitches. So yeah, the flounce designs are ready. I'm done stitching them on the base. So this is what we have here. This is what we have. I brought the mannequin outside so you can see very clearly because the power holding with the light at this moment and i have to complete this outfit so i'm done with the stitching then i'm just trying to display other parts where you can fix the design not only the shoulder parts it also makes sense and the down parts see how beautiful it is 
so you can as well decide to design the down parts. The next thing is for scissors to deny for our lighter to bond this a fabric that I'm removing. We use our scenario to bond them. Make sure. So you now have no lighter. Anyone you have, you can make it like that. To make sure you bond them so you have a neat ruffle. So at this point, I'm trying to show you how to make use of the lighter to bond the tip of the flounce. Not, not that you have to bond the fabric down. Just the tips. Those, um little little material coming out just bring bond them down this method is actually not that easy because because you definitely out your finger a little bit just a little bit so you have to be careful with the light while using the lighter you have to be careful so you won't hurt yourself that much so i guess this method is better i went ahead to pick the flowers layer by layer and make use of the lighter on them so as to make sure I have a neat finishing yes so here's the finished product I'm done burning with the lighter you can see how neat the ruffle is you don't have anyone pulling out anymore so i saw in my ruffle on the base i left um, about half an inch on the base part so that's the part i will stitch to the main dress so i'll stick that to the main dress round so i'll go ahead and do that but here we have our design done Thanks for staying tuned to the end. Thanks for watching till the end. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.